Hello dear students of class 6. I am here with you today at Amar Ghare Amar School. Welcome to today's English class. Hope you are doing great. Today we are going to discuss about lesson 7 and lesson 8 from English for today book. You can see the title of today's lesson on the screen. Lesson 7, Holding Hands. And lesson 8, Grocery Shopping. After the discussion of today's class, we will be able to, from lesson 7, recognize word and stress on words in sentences, recognize intonation in sentences, understand and enjoy stories and poems. From lesson 8, Use word stress and stress on words in sentences. Ask and answer questions. Participate in short dialogues and conversations on familiar topics. And read and understand text. So, let's begin. Today's first lesson is a poem. Let's first read the poem together. Holding hands, Leonor M. Ling. Elephants walking along the trails are holding hands by holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk in circus rings. And when they walk, it never fails. They are holding hands by holding tails. Dear students, Repeat with me and recite again. Elephants walking along the trails are holding hands by holding tails. Trunks and tails are handy things when elephants walk in circus rings. And when they walk, it never fails. They are holding hands by holding tails. So what we have understood from the poem? The poem here says, Elephants in the circus walk following other elephants' tail in one line. They hold other elephants' tail with the tongue in the circus. Elephants never stumble or fall down. They keep walking holding other elephants' tail with the tongue. Now, one interesting thing we have found. We have found same word but different meaning let's see our word is trunk it means a long nose of an elephant which is found in the poem it also means a large box holding clothes or personal belongings again it means the main woody stem of a tree from which its branches grow. Our next word is ring. It means a round, confined area in which animals or people perform or compete. For example, circus ring or a boxing ring, which we see in our poem. It also means an ornament shaped in circular form. Again, it means to dial someone's telephone. Now practice A3. What you need to do? You need to match these two words with image, trunk and ring. So this is for images. So let's see. So trunk can be Yes, this one can be trunk and this one can be trunk. But what about ring? Okay, to dial someone. So this is ring and ornament. This is ring. I think it is really clear to you. Okay, now practice A4. Now make sentences with these two words, trunk and ring. So let's see, trunk. Elephant's trunk is the longest nose I have ever seen. 
I have put my clutters inside my trunk. Now what about ring? Number one. In the circus, tigers are seen to go through the ring. Number two. I have seen videos of Muhammad Ali in the boxing ring. Number three. My father gave my mother a golden ring. Number four. Please ring me in the evening. So that's all for lesson seven. Now we will start lesson eight. Some guests will visit Imran's house tonight. So Imran's mother will cook dinner for them. She asks Imran to go to the local market. He often forgets to buy the necessary items. So his mother is making a shopping list for him. He is helping his mother make the list. Now read the conversation between the mother and son. First, Imran asks, Mom, what do I need to buy? Mom says, Well, see if we have enough potatoes. Then Imran replies, We have some potatoes, but I don't think it's enough. Mom says, then get half kg of potatoes. How about tomatoes? Imran says, I don't see any tomatoes. Mom then asks, are there any other vegetables? Imran says, yes, there are some beans, carrots, cucumber and eggplants. That's all. Mom remarks, well... I will need one kg of tomatoes, half kg of beans, and two cauliflowers. Mom also says, Are there any eggs, dear? Imran replies, There are only three eggs. Maybe I will buy a dozen more. Mom replies, Hmm, oh yes, get some sugar and milk and one liter of oil too. Imran says, okay, one liter of milk and one kg of sugar. Then mom says, one more thing, dear, you're forgetting your list. Here it is. Imran finally remarks, oh, thanks, mom. So you have listened to the conversation. Now you will take the practice. Practice A1. Now look at the shopping list here. You have read the conversation already. Now put a tick against the items that Imran will buy. And put a cross against the items he will not buy. Write the quantity of the items he is buying in the last column. One is done for you. Potatoes. Yes. They were in the list, so it is tick mark, and the quantity is half kg. So similarly, we have to find whether the items are in the list or not, and then find out the quantity. For this, you must keep English for Today in front of you and go to the page number 21. Yes. We will see the conversation again and find out whether the items are in the list or not. So let's start. Tomatoes. Okay, so let's find out from the conversation. Tomatoes. Yes, mom is saying in the middle of the conversation, well, I will need one kg of tomatoes. Yes, so tomatoes is in the list. We can put tick mark. And in the column of amount or quantity, we can write here one kg. Then, then onions, okay. Onions, let's see, potato, vegetables, carrots, bean, cucumber, eggplants, cauliflower, eggs, milk, oil, sugar, milk. So. Onions are not in the list, so we can put here cross mark. Yes. Then 
What about cauliflower? So let's find it out. Yes. Uh, similarly, in the same conversation where we have got the information about tomatoes. So see here, well, we I will need one kg of tomatoes, half kg of beans and two cauliflowers. Two cauliflowers. So this is in the list. We can put here tick mark and in the quantity we can write two pieces. So what about beans? Okay, let's see. Beans, yes, in the same line, we have got the information about beans, half kg of beans. So it is in the list and the quantities, half kg. Okay, what about eggplants? Okay, eggplants, yes, we have got the information about eggplants. Yes, there are some beans, carrots, cucumber and eggplants, that's all. That means eggplants are already in their home. Yes, so it is not in the list, cross mark. So let's see about eggs. Okay, where is eggs? Yes, we have got the information about eggs. Are there any eggs there? Mom is asking. Then Imran is answering. There are only three eggs. Maybe I will buy a dozen more, yes. So Imran is going to buy. So eggs are in the list, tick mark, and the quantity is one dozen. Okay, what about oil? Yes. Okay, after this line, we find mom is saying, mm, oh yes, get some sugar and milk and one liter of oil. That means oil is in the list. We can put tick mark and in the quantity we write here, one liter. Okay, what about salt? Yes, we have gone through all the items. Salt is not in the list. So you can put here, cross mark. Okay, what about sugar? Yes, sugar is there. Where is sugar? Yes, so sugar is in the list. So where's the quantity? Imran is saying, okay, one liter of milk and one kg of sugar, one kg. What about milk? Okay, in this line we find one liter of milk. So milk is in the list and quantity is one liter. What about carrots? Yes, in the middle of the conversation, Imran is saying yes, there are some beans, carrots, cucumber and eggplants. That's all, that means carrots are already in their home. So carrots are not in the list. So you can put here cross mark. And what about cucumber? Same information about cucumber. Cucumber is already at the home. So cross mark. So I think you have got the idea about finding specific information from a reading. Now let's recap what we have learned so far. We have learned about many things. Number one, we have learned about recognizing word and stress on words in sentences. Number two, recognizing intonation in sentences. Number three, understanding and enjoying stories and poems. Number four, using word stress and stress on words in sentences. Number five, Asking and answering questions. Number six, participating in short dialogues and conversations on family topics. And number seven, reading and understanding text. Follow Facebook and YouTube to see the class again. So thank you very much. Follow the instructions sub government and stay safe. Thank you again from Amar Khare, Amar School. Goodbye.